Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be going through Killstar best and worst. So I did a video like this about two years ago now. Honestly I didn't know it had been that long but we're basically doing an updated one. So my best and worst of Killstar. So if you like the sound of that then do subscribe and yeah do keep on watching. I was actually going to do a shoe review today but I saw Heavy Metal Mama's video and she did like Killstar, The Good Good, the bad and the poorly made so do go and check out her video i'll either link it in the eye or i'll put it in the description for you or something um but she did a video going through her kind of best and poorly made items from Killstar. She also has a very different style to me so it'll be interesting to go and watch her video too because she has I don't think any of our items are the same. So I haven't put a number on it this time. I think I've got about seven or eight good things and five bad things. Honestly, it was really hard to pick the good things because there is so much that I do really love by Killstar. But I have tried to pick things that I didn't mention in that first video and just things that I would 100% repurchase if I lost them or something happened to them. <laughs> so that's kind of what I have based this off of. I've mainly got clothing, but I do also have a pair of shoes and accessories. So we'll just get straight into it so I'll start with the good or the best <laughs> so one of the things I had to mention are these shoes so these are the cosmic ankle boot shoes also I forgot to mention a lot of the stuff I'm mentioning is either no longer available or you'll have to like find it off of eBay or Vinted or Depop or somewhere like that however if things are still available I will leave all of the links that you need in the description box below for you and I also have a voucher for five pounds off your order so do tap that link and you'll get five pounds off but back to these these are the cosmic ankle boots i bought these about probably a year and a half ago i bought them in november of 2021 <laughs> so quite a while ago now and they've honestly held up so much better than i really thought they would i expected them to fall apart and not be comfortable and they've kind of been the opposite they've done really really well i've worn them on like london day out trips and i will say that as if it's like a big thing because london day out trips for me are usually when i walk about twenty thousand steps <laughs> so they really put shoes to the test and these have held up so well they're so comfortable they've just been a, so much better than i thought and that's why i have gone ahead and purchased other killstar shoes that you might have seen in my previous hauls i'll go through like some of the details but i won't go into too much detail otherwise we will literally be here all day <laughs> but they're basically a pair of platform ankle boots they have zips um and they're just very very comfortable they're quite basic but the main detail is this platform and i've worn them so much like i've worn them on a lot of day out trips especially in the summer where my spring boots are just way too hot <laughs> these have been perfect they honestly don't have many signs of wear i'd say they have a little bit of scuffing on the toe area but that's all I can really see. And the most important thing is the platform has stayed on them, which was one of my concerns. So that's what they look like together. Really, really cool shoes. And I would recommend, they also now have them in white. I wouldn't buy them in white. I don't think they look the best. <laughs> but if white is your colour, they do ha now have them in white. But I'm not sure if they're getting the black ones in. But if they do, I would recommend them. The second item that I have to mention is a bag. Now, I hear a lot of people say they really don't like Killstar bags and I don't know if I just got all of mine during the phase where they were really good. I haven't bought any since the striped like Beetlejuice handbag and I'm not sure if they've gone downhill from that because the zip on that is a little bit stiff but all of the bags I've had before then have been absolutely amazing. I'll put some photos on the screen of some of the bags I have but I bought the Killstar backpack like the original plain one and I took that to college and university and i've probably used that bag for about six or seven years and it held up super super well and i really put that bag through the test i had laptops massive notebooks like it was heavy stuff <laughs> and none of the straps have fallen off or anything so i thought that bag was amazing i also have the mcgoth backpack which i've kind of rediscovered and i'm using it again and i really love it i've got the pumpkin bag that everyone is so desperately after love that one um, I now have the coffin handbag, which I'm really excited about. But I just love all of their bags. I think they're really well made. Um, 
I do look after my bags. I'm not someone who like throws them on the floor and puts them in like the grass and all of that. I do really look after them, but I still use them quite a lot. So I would say they are good quality, at least the ones that I've had. But the one that I had to mention is this one. I'm not sure what this bag is called, but it's basically a handbag and it's got all of my favorite materials on it. So it says Killstar with this kind of plaque. These are like key rings I've added, um, but it's got velvet here, which hopefully you can see. That's better. So it's got velvet, it's got like a PVC shiny material, and then it's got a damask print with velvet. It's this shiny PVC on the bottom so it's really easy to wipe and again velvet on the back it's got this kind of clasp which usually isn't my favorite i prefer a zip but i really like it and it's got so much space inside like all of these pockets and it's just like a tardis bag like that's what i call it because it has so much room in it and my friend always laughs because i literally hate this every single time <laughs> we meet up and she always laughs because of the stuff I just pull out of it because I literally had the massive CeraVe face wash that was just in here along with all my usual stuff. It's just a huge bag and because it's fabric, it expands and you just can keep so much in this. Um, I also like that it has PVC handles and also a strap. So I do like that there's kind of two ways of holding it, but it just goes with everything. It's a really nice fancy bag. Um, kind of nice for a date night or something but to be honest I just use it all the time because it has so much room and it's so easy to carry and I like that you can carry it different ways the only thing I would say that I don't like about it is it's really easy to fall off your shoulder and I wasn't sure why that was and I was actually watching another one of Harry Metal Mama's reviews where she reviewed the Avelina de More if I, hopefully I'm saying her name right bag and she said that one of the downsides was it doesn't sit on her shoulder properly because of the pvc handle so that's that must be the same issue for this but i absolutely love this bag it's probably my most used bag apart from that backpack but i don't tend to use that one anymore because it's a bit too big and the only thing that has happened is some of the pvc on this strap did start to come away a little bit just there i did actually glue it back on um, and it hasn't really, you can kind of see it there. But I have tried to glue it. But that's been the only sign of wear from this bag. And overall, I just love it and I'd be lost without it. <laughs> the rest of the things are clothes though. I've got a lot of dresses, so we'll go through those. This one was actually bought for me from my fiance like quite a few years ago now. And it remains one of my favourite dresses. Um, it's got these kind of fake leather straps. And it's basically... Again, all my favourite material. It's velvet, leather and mesh. <laughs> I like kind of all of the pieces with different materials on. So it's kind of like a sweetheart style with this pentagram. It is a little bit see-through, but it's not see-through when you wear it. And then it's got mesh and it's just a really nice dress. As soon as I saw it, I really, really liked it. But what I like about this one is you can wear it in the summer and it looks really, really flattering. It's a really nice dress. It gives kind of party goth vibes. There's enough room for like necklaces and chokers and it's just really really cute but you can also layer it under striped tops in the winter and it's really versatile that's why I keep it out all year round because I wear it all year round so I had to mention this one and this one's called the draconian dress if I hadn't said that already again it's an old one but highly recommend another dress and this one is a velvet one I actually got this in the sale and I got this for quite cheap and I really really like it I wear it more in the summer um, I don't really tend to wear it in the winter but it's a really nice comfy elegant dress you can kind of really like dress it up or down you could put tights with it and like a necklace maybe or put some like more fine elegant jewelry in maybe for something a bit more special but it's really really nice so it's got like a scoop neck here and kind of like little sleeves and the sleeves have like a burnout velvet i love a burnout velvet and the pattern of this is gorgeous it's got like a damask kind of pattern with moons. It's got roses in, bats. Are those bats? I don't know. They kind of look like bats a little bit. Maybe they're not. <laughs> but I just love how elegant it is because of the roses. It's such a gorgeous pattern. Um, 
so yeah it's like a burnout velvet on top of a slip dress so all of this is see-through and it's just really pretty like the scoop neck is really flattering it's not too low and it does tie up and it's kind of like in a baby doll style and i wear this one a lot and i feel like having a black dress like this is so good if you like to do different colored looks like today i'm doing a red look but you could do different colors with these kinds of things because they are a bit more simplistic again the quality is really nice i haven't found it to rip on anything it washes well so yeah really pleased with this one i can't remember the name of it it could be the sadie something dress um, but again it's an old one definitely a winter piece is the dress I am wearing and whenever you see this kind of black fluffy <laughs> material because you only really see my shoulders in videos it's usually this dress I remember I bought this off of Dolls Kill in 2021 and I ordered it in America because they didn't have it in my size in the UK and that was before I was going out for Christmas so I actually had it for when I went out to America and I wore it so much on that trip and I continued to wear it a lot it's just like wearing a blanket the quality of these dresses are amazing I wish they still did them they haven't done them since this one um because if they did more I would 100% buy them I think they're really comfy really warm um and I just really like them and they're really flattering so it's basically got like a neckline like this so perfect gap for a choker um and then it's kind of got normal sleeves so you can fit bracelets on and then it does have a moon cut out and it's kind of a bodycon dress which is not usually what I go for but I think it's really flattering because it's so like fuzzy and cozy <laughs> so it's got like a moon cut out here in mesh and then it's just like a bodycon dress so it's really really flattering really nice length it's really cozy like if I show you the sleeve up close like look how like fuzzy and cozy it is like it's so nice it's so thick it's just such a lovely dress like i'm really hoping they bring out more because i have another one that says witch and it's far too big for me and i do want to sell it because it just doesn't look right but i want another one <laughs> so i'm hoping they bring out more so i can sell that one and then buy another one like i feel like this with a mesh bat would look so cool and i to be honest i would buy that even though it looks very similar because i just wear this dress so often and it always stays really fluffy so I just love the quality of this one and whenever I'm kind of feeling cold and I want something cozy but still looks kind of put together and done up then this is the dress I pick. <laughs> Got two items left for the best so I'll finish off the dresses. I mainly buy dresses from Killstar that's usually what I tend to go for so that's why there's so many but this dress I mentioned in my winter favourites I'll link that in the eye if you haven't seen it so I won't talk too much about this but this is still one of my favorite pieces from killstar again it's an old one it's got this kind of collar with lace it is a velvet dress it's got a cutout some frills the sleeves are gorgeous on this dress like the sleeves are definitely what make it it's such an elegant look the way the lace sits on top of your hands and then it's just like a plain black skater dress i tend to wear this for like occasions like my birthday christmas um the krampus necklace i bought out sits really well there so i wore that on christmas day it's just such a gorgeous again flattering dress i just absolutely love it it feels really warm again and the reason like this is one of my favorites as well is the velvet on this is really like soft and thick like it feels like a really nice quality dress uh, the zip doesn't get stuck at all um i'd say it attracts some fluff if it overexposes yeah like you can see some fluff on it but it's not too bad like their old velvet the velvet they did six years ago <laughs> i think um i didn't like that type of velvet but this velvet is gorgeous it's not crushed it's just really really soft really thick and it just feels like a really nice quality dress and again i will never get rid of this one <laughs> again i'm not sure the name of this one if i find the names i'll leave it on the screen to help you find them like second hand and the last item is not a dress it's a skirt and as soon as i thought of the idea to like recreate this video um from heavy metal mama's video this skirt came to mind immediately i love this one and again it's a velvet piece i think has all of my favorites been velvet <laughs> i'm honestly not surprised <laughs> this is like a vampy puffy skater skirt i 
absolutely love this one if something happened to this i would be devastated and i would immediately go out and try and find another one i just think it's such a gorgeous skirt and it definitely brings like gothic lolita vampire vibes to an outfit so it's got like a velvet waistband and then it has lace details on it and it's got these crosses and these are embroidered into the material which is really nice and then it's got this lace and what i love about this is the reason it's so puffy is it does have different layers to it so it's kind of got the mesh slip layer underneath and then we've got another well, much thinner mesh with lace and then you have the actual velvet so it just sits like really cute and puffy and you can see all the layers underneath it's just a gorgeous gorgeous skirt i was actually put off buying it at first because of the crosses um i'm not like religious or anything so i wasn't sure about that um although they are upside down crosses <laughs> but I'm so glad I got this one because it's definitely one of my favourite skirts from Killstar. I didn't mention this one because it is quite plain, but I love the velvet, I think it was Nadia skirt that they bought out with the lace trim around the bottom of it. I wear that to death and I love that too. So now we move on to the kind of bad or worst items. So I've got four things in person and one thing that I don't have so all of the things that I don't like from Killstar I've usually like sold on or I've sent back so although my hauls are very like 50 50 at the moment at least I only keep the stuff I really like so that's why I have a lot more good items here to show you so the one thing that I don't have are leggings from Killstar I don't think I have any leggings left from Killstar so I only had two to begin with and I had these striped like Beetlejuice vertical black and white striped pair actually I've just thought of another thing <laughs> and I do actually have that top so I'll put a photo of the top that I've just thought about here I have that but the thing is it's in my summer wardrobe which is in a box at the top of my wardrobe so there could be some like favorites and worst things that I haven't even thought about because I you literally can't see them so they are up there but that top and the leggings are kind of both in the same material and i had the same problem with both the black and white material they used for that i didn't like at all i said it was okay in my haul but the more i wore it the more i didn't like it so it was a cotton but the black just faded instantly in the wash the more you wash it the more gray it gets and it just doesn't look as good and i also found that i hadn't even worn the leggings out i just tried them on i did end up selling the leggings because of this issue and i just knew i wasn't going to wear them but the specific problems with the leggings was the material just didn't look good it also stretched and then went gray or white so i don't have the thinnest legs in the world but i am a size 8 slash 10 so i'm also nowhere near like the biggest person in the world they really faded when they were stretched on me yeah i really think their leggings are made for if you're really like petite and you've got quite thin legs um if you've kind of got average or more like wider thighs they definitely stretch and then go thinner and then the print just doesn't look as good again i thought it was okay and then i kind of watched the try on back and i tried them on again and i was like i really don't like the look of that so i did end up selling them on as i said but another issue was where your like thighs rub together the material was actually like bobbling up as if it had been like worn a lot and i'd only just tried them on so i really didn't like the material that was the main issue for that they fit okay but they just stretched and then went kind of see-through and gray the material was bobbling up really early on even though i hadn't even worn them and i also found the halloween pajama leggings i did buy them the material for those was so much better but again it was like thinning out the print when i wore them especially on the thighs so i just really didn't like that and i haven't bought killstar leggings since because of that i don't think killstar leggings are for me <laughs> so i did end up selling both of those pairs actually but the black and white striped pair in particular were awful and the top that i showed you a photo of a second ago i do still have that i do really like it in theory however the material again it's very gray now like definitely nowhere near as black as when it first arrived and it also like bobbles up under the arm for some reason i'm not sure if it doesn't like deodorant or something <laughs> it's definitely like bobbling up in places i don't think that top will last as long as these pieces have and i've had a few of these for probably about four years so i just don't think that one will last as long as these so that was the first issue that's probably one of the worst ones i would say and um, some of these are quite minor so i'll go through 
accessories next so this bracelet i actually really like i think it's really cool i just wish the quality was kind of better on it it's a bracelet but it's kind of like a cuff bracelet and it's got all of these metal d rings and i just think it's really cool definitely gives me trad goth vibes you can move these um so there is this one issue i had is i actually put on like a lush perfume and it has stained the leather now i don't know if that's a fault of this or whether it's the lush perfume so i'm not holding that against it too much i'll show you where it is though i'm not sure if it's as obvious now um but it is across here yeah you can kind of see like the white splodges so i don't love that but i'm not going to blame the bracelet for that because that was like my doing but another thing is when i took this bracelet off you can see it does up by poppers when i do it on this one this did actually come off and was stuck in here now luckily i managed to get it out and really like press it in but i do find that occasionally it does kind of come off again i'll show you this side so you can see but it is like coming off so i think the next time it does fall off i'm just gonna super glue it and that should solve it however it did that quite early on so not the best for the jewelry <laughs> i have also seen other people's horror stories of killstar jewelry i don't own much killstar jewelry i have the um ank necklace that was really old and that one i think did eventually break but i caught it on something and i've like refixed it and i also have the bat necklace with the cross in it and that one's held up really well actually but i haven't bought anything since then i prefer to get my jewelry from smaller companies i just think it's more well made um i like kill stuff for clothing and handbags and sometimes shoes but my jewelry i either make myself like this one is from my shop i love mr cum luna which is where a lot of my rings are from and i also like kind of places on etsy that do stuff like this this is by black hearts jewelry like i just prefer to spend a little bit more and get it made in a good material rather than like cheapy killstar jewelry so i don't tend to buy much killstar jewelry and the other thing are some sunglasses now i only have the one pair from killstar i am glad they came in a case because disturbias didn't <laughs> um but i do have these i'm not sure when these came out probably like a couple of years ago they're not the oldest ones I think they were called the rain sunglasses and they've got like upside down pentagrams on the side and overall i love the look of them they're like huge over the top cat eye sunglasses however they just don't stay on my nose and it's probably more of a me problem than a killstar problem because i'm sure other people probably don't have this issue but i just find it's like i'm putting them on you <laughs> but this part of the nose is so wide and it just ends up slipping down my nose so my part of my nose up here is quite thin and i always find that these types of sunglasses are not the best for me like i prefer the ones with the rubber things that actually stay up but i have had plenty of these style ones before like of this that don't have the rubber things and they've been fine whereas these constantly fall down so i do find that really annoying um i wish it had been a bit closer together or they put the rubber back things on this um so that's kind of like a worst item for me in particular i just it's just annoying like i still wear them but i definitely don't wear them as much as i was hoping to because they just drive me crazy <laughs> and then they take all the foundation off my nose as they fall down so that's great <laughs> two last items this one i've had for a really long time again it's an old one it's the ghost skirt i really liked this print when they came out i kind of hoped they would have done this print again with like some cute ghosts because these are definitely more like spooky and scary looking like i think a print like this but better quality <laughs> with a cute ghost would do so well still waiting <laughs> or a bat print they should do a bat print anyway i have this ghost skirt it's a little bit longer as you can see but it's really really flowy and i do like the material of this it's not i don't think it's see-through not from memory mm, maybe a bit if you stretch it but generally not it's that kind of either viscose or rayon or that kind of material but i do like it for skirts and I just don't really wear this one anymore because it sticks together after being washed. So this print is not tacky or anything, but it goes tacky when it's wet. And when I wash this, it all like 
was like this <laughs> and it wouldn't move and I had to carefully peel it away and I think some sections of it did come off if I remember um it's not too much of an issue because it's such a patterned print like I'm trying to find it now and I literally can't even find it but I just remember thinking after that I'm probably not going to wash this one so that kind of limits where I can wear this. I've just found a dead moth on my bed. I bet that's from some of these clothes, like probably this one that I haven't taken out my wardrobe for years. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And the last item is the most frustrating thing ever. <laughs> so they went through different phases of doing skater skirts. They've stopped doing them now, which I'm actually really sad about because they're my favorite style. And if there was a velvet skater skirt in a print I loved, I was instantly sold. And now they just do the really tight ones with the suspender straps and they bring them out every time and I really don't like them. So I'd love to see some more velvet skirts. But to begin with, they bought out ones that had no waistband at all, like in the top bit and they were really flimsy and they fell down. I had the pentagram and the death head moth print in that and I ended up selling them both because they just got too short for me and the waistband drove me crazy because there was nothing in the waistband. <laughs> so that was frustrating and then they started doing these types of waistbands where they are sewn in and they twist. <laughs> so this is the kind of Cthulhu, I think it was called the Cthulhu Depths skater skirt. Um, and it's a velvet skirt with kind of a burnout, but it's not a thin burnout. Like, it's not see-through. It's really pretty. It catches the light really nicely. Almost metallic, but not quite. And it's got a Cthulhu there. And it's just really pretty. It's got a lace trim at the bottom. And then it had this waistband where it was kind of thicker. And it stays up and it's stretchy. Since this... They've never done waistbands like this again, which I'm really glad about. Um, and I really like the waistbands in their newer skirts, but the skater skirts, so they're probably not new at this point. However, this skirt was fine. I washed it and it just went crazy in the wash. Like you've got the normal waistband on the back, just like this. Like you can see it's flat. And then you go along and then it's basically all twisted up. So like this piece of the material has nothing in it and it's all twisted in there which means when you wear it, it sits like this <sighs> and it's so sad because it's such a lovely skirt. This is what it should look like and that's what it does look like. It's just so frustrating. I've like shown my dad it and he's tried to like untwist it. I've tried, I've sat here for ages trying to twist it back but it's sewn in at weird places um which makes it impossible to get back to how it was so i might take this into somewhere to see if they can fix it because i really like the skirt itself and when i have worn this i've stuck a belt on top of it to hide it but it would be really nice if it just sat normally and wasn't all twisted and ugh. but that was definitely a big flaw for their skirts like around this time but the ones i have since then have been really good so don't let that put you off the skirts it's just that this was an issue for this time <laughs> so that was my killstar best and worst so definitely more items that i love from killstar i do find that some of their quality has gone down over the years um i mentioned this like when i did a killstar haul i definitely can see the difference between these older pieces that are about probably four years old now compared to the newer stuff however i still buy stuff from killstar that is really nice quality all of this stuff i've kind of chosen has been older which is interesting <laughs> um i'd say the newest thing is probably these which was in november of 2021 but i also had some things like the velvet dress with the moths like the new one uh, with the bell sleeves i nearly chose that so there, there's still some things i really like especially their velvet pieces um that i think are really nice quality still i just didn't pick that one because i hadn't i've only worn it like once or twice so i didn't think that was like good enough for a favorite one other thing that i don't like that killstar have been doing and it's been talked about in the killstar group on facebook apparently they have raised their prices so the coffin suitcase i believe used to be 79.99 and it's now 149.99 which they've kind of doubled it which <laughs> 
it's not good like it's not a slight price increase like i recently put my prices up for my shop simply gothic and i was putting them up between like one to three pounds and i felt bad <laughs> um even though it was really necessary i still was like oh whereas this is almost double the price which i do think is a lot however i think they probably just need to be more transparent with with their customers i think that's the issue is they kind of do things in secret and then people are like i'm sure that was a lot cheaper like the assassin's hood cardigan thing i think that's gone up dramatically in price i've noticed the skull bag started at 49 and now they're all up at 75 which i just think is done really sneakily i think if they actually addressed it and said look our prices have increased for manufacturing we're having to do this maybe like it's a problem with eu exports or something where things have really changed lately um i think people would be a lot more okay with it because they're being told what's going on instead of just looking at something and being like i'm sure it was never that price <laughs> so i do think what they're doing is a bit sneaky and some people have said that they have done that before sales as well which is really bad it's actually illegal in the uk to like raise the price of something and then put it in the sale it has to be set at that price for a specific amount of time um so there has been some dodgy things that i don't like so that's something to be aware of as well i think they just need to be more transparent maybe put out a statement because i've definitely seen myself as a small business owner the prices of everything increasing it's like when i go to buy my packaging boxes they go up every single time I go and buy them. So I can understand like increased manufacturing costs, but I think it's probably better to put out a statement saying, we're really sorry, like we're gonna have to increase our prices. Just put out something so people don't feel deceived. <laughs> I think that's a lot of the problem. Um, obviously not doubling the price, like that's, that's not great either, but that's kind of my thought on that. But do let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below as well, because I'd love to have a discussion with you. But do let me know your top two to five best and worst items from Killstar. Do let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe if you did, and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.